It's often called the garden under the sea, but a new research project on the Great Barrier Reef takes the concept a step further. The first coral nursery has been planted off the Cairns coast and could soon see tourists becoming underwater gardeners. In the waters surrounding Fitzroy Island, special coral cuttings are taking root. Hanging like ornaments on a Christmas tree, they've been transplanted to help save this small section of the Great Barrier Reef. So, so it's a little bit like gardening. You actually take cuttings from a tree or a plant and plant it elsewhere. Well, we actually take cuttings from coral colonies and make multiple colonies. The first nursery was planted just days ago by the Reef Restoration Foundation. For the next six months, 240 of these heat-tolerant corals will grow here before being harvested and replanted on parts of the reef, devastated by back-to-back -back bleaching events. So instead of looking at it as a problem, look at it as an opportunity. I think we can actually then end up kind of, you know, putting Cairns, uh, Queensland and Australia again on the map as kind of leaders in innovation and sustainable development. The project also aims to counteract a drop in tourism numbers to the reef. Eventually, visitors could be given the chance to buy and plant their own piece of coral. It's the first time the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority has given a permit for this kind of research, and if we can uh, prove it successful, it has enormous potential to, uh, to assist the tourism industry. Scientists involved in the research say the project proves they're willing to consider all options when it comes to dealing with the problems facing the reef. The approval granted is another sign that a change in thinking will be critical in safeguarding its future. If we're actually looking at new ways of managing the marine park and one of those things is to think about better ways to intervene in the health of the reef and promote its resilience, including restoration. While the project offers a new way to try and repair the reef, scientists say it shouldn't be seen as a cure for the results of climate change. Sally Rafferty, ABC News.